Okay, so uh, we're back with uh, just a little tip. There is a hidden arpeggiator um, in the mono sequencer. And so what I've got here are one mono, two mono, three mono, and a chord. And these, I believe, are all set up the same. And basically what I've got going on here is a single step in it and end is on the same. I've got <clears throat> LFO to pitch, and um, that's most of what we're going to be doing. And so what, I'm, what I've got is this going to a Mother 32. This is going to a uh, O-Coast, Zero Coast, and this is going to a Hydrosynth. And what we can do is basically start, and you can see that I'm going to be running my arpeggiator with the LFO and the step length and number of steps and uh, maybe some re-trigger percentage, that kind of thing. So I'm in pentatonic minor, so these are my tones. You can manually play it or we can automate it. Right now we're on Hydrosynth. The longer you set your LFO rate, the more variation you get. I keep the mount pretty low. This is my bass. I'm gonna turn on uh, shift. Because it's an LFO, it should repeat. Bring in the mother. Add some more uh, re-trigger variation. get the idea and then uh, just to kind of showcase it play with it a little bit I've got these other ones loaded up see just one step got a noise LFO. I can just select whatever. Offset will bring my pitch up. And if I want to play with division, I've got it on eighth. slow.
trigger variation. And now we got a little, a little jam. And that's uh, throwing LFOs to pitch and sort of treating them how an arpeggiator would treat them.